In fact, there are also certain things you cannot ask, you cannot be involved. I think that also the issue is that there's no legal basis for lawyers to get involved in the early stage, in the investigation stage. The police was dominant in that stage. Therefore, the human right of the suspect were not protected. And with this, this will change? Uh, yeah, definitely will improve the situation. Right. Yeah. Thank you for that. And you're now watching a special program, Voices and Votes. And today, we're talking about justice and law. The program will be back in a moment. Stay tuned. China, China is, is growing and changing with the times. A complex country with unique, with unique challenges. challenges. Look past ideological differences. Get a complete picture. A confident nation meets in Beijing for the annual plenary sessions of the top legislature. Top advisory body. Here we vote policy on, on livelihood, sustainable the development, rule of law, diplomacy, and national security. Join, Join us every day on Voices, Voices and Votes, Votes for balanced discussion and in-depth analysis of China's, China's responsibility in the 21st century. Welcome back. You're now watching Voices and Votes, only here on CCTV News. In the first part of our show, we've been looking at changes of China's criminal procedure law. But there is one issue that deserves deeper analysis. That's the law surrounding the detention of criminal suspects. To discuss this, we're now joined by Professor He Jiahong from Remy University and also Mr. Edward Lehman, the managing director of the Lehman Lee and Xu law firm. While China's draft amendment to the criminal procedure law has tightened